Hi guys, today I want to look inside a little bit on this machine here that's the HP Thin Client uh, T620 Plus. And this is a, an interesting little box, it's very energy efficient and it can be found relatively cheaply on eBay. And it has a PCI slot, so it makes it a very good candidate to build a, uh, a router device or, or a firewall device with something like PFSense or OPNSense. So anyway, uh, I want to take a look inside because, you know, when I picked this up uh, or before I, I bought it, I was looking for information online. I really couldn't find a whole lot of useful information in terms of, uh, you know, what's in here. And so I want to make a little video of kind of... Uh, showing people, you know, what you'll find in here. And, uh, you know, uh, anyway, so let's just go ahead and open this up. So it's, it's a toolless design. And basically this, this uh, back panel has to come off first before you can open up, but it's just a little lever here. And then this plastic panel is just, uh, clipped in and so you just have to tug on it a little bit and not too hard because otherwise you might break the plastic, but just, you know, it'll come out and there's, uh, these little prongs that stick in on this side here. And so anyway, that comes off. Once you get that off, um, all the uh, things inside here are, you know, that are green are what you need to kind of mess with. And uh, just push that thing to the left there and that releases the latch inside and allows you to slide that out this way. And then the top comes off. And so there's not, not much to the top here, um, you know, just, a lot, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it through the camera here, but a lot of uh, ventilation holes. So this thing is uh, very, very quiet. There is a, a fan here, but it doesn't really need a lot of air movement because um, there's just so many openings that air flows right through this thing. So once you get it opened up, um, this is what you got. There's a, the main fan assembly. And uh, again, just look for anything that's green. Uh, push down on this, pull it back, and this kind of just uh, folds open. And there's a whole fan that's be, it's connected through this cable right here. And uh, yeah, so there's the internals. Um, this is a, a PCIe slot here. It's uh, a kind of by 16 slot, so it's very wide. You can stick uh, a very long card in here. Uh, well, as far as the PCI connector goes. Um, but it's only electrically um, four lanes, and so uh, anything larger than that, you're going to be limited in terms of the electrical connectivity, the four lanes. I've got a, a quad port uh, network card in here, so I'll just pull this out. It's, it's very easy. Uh, you just kind of slide it out. There's actually no uh, screw or anything that holds on to this side like you know, in, in a lot of chassis. Uh, and it seems to be just fine. It doesn't come loose or anything like that easily. Um, one thing to note is, you know, this this particular Ethernet card is easy because everything here is flush, you know, to the PCI bracket. And sometimes if you're using like a 10 gigabit card or, or something else that might have something protruding, it does get a little bit hard to uh, remove it because it'll hit this spot right here. And, you know, and so there's not a lot of room to, to maneuver in here. So in, in situations like you might have to remove this whole riser, this is a riser card here. You might have to remove the whole riser card a little bit to give yourself some room to, to install a card that has something that pr protrudes out beyond the PCI bracket here. And so to remove the riser is actually fairly simple. There's a, there's a latch right here. And so you kind of uh, pull the latch back and then you can kind of pull this card up and let's see if I can do, get to this right here. Yeah, there you go. And uh, it's connected by these cables electrically. And uh, yeah, there's the there's the kind of onboard PCI slot, and this is just a riser that brings it up. So I'll, I'll leave this to the side here a little bit. Um, so what's on this board? Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, need to get a screw. Well, anyway, un under this. Uh, panel is the two RAM slots. There's the PCI slot. This is a MSATA slot. And so you'll see the two standoffs there. You can put a little MSATA SSD in there if you want. There are two internal USB-A slots, uh, one right here and one right here where you see I already have a, a USB stick in there. 
that I plan to use. And uh, here is the M.2 uh, SSD slot. And uh, there are three adjustable uh, screw positions that allow you to install you know, a, a longer, larger capacity um, M.2 SSD. And then finally, let's see if we can see it here. Uh, this here, it looks like a mini PCI slot, and there's a, those are the standoffs for it. So this is probably for some sort of wireless card or something like that, if, if uh, there was such an option. And uh, yeah, so this whole thing is basically cooled by this fan, pushing air out this way, which goes uh, right through uh, over the PCI card and right through this, this heat sink here that's uh, taking uh, through this heat pipe here that's taking heat away from the uh, CPU that's on the back side of this board. And so, yeah, th this really is a nice little system with a lot of expandability, you know, between the, the two USBs, the, uh, the M SATA, the M.2, and, uh, you know, this, uh, this PCIe uh, thing, and, and then, you know, the normal PCIe uh, slot here through the riser. And it gives you a lot of capacity. Uh, under here, if I had my screwdriver with me, I'd open this up and show you. But there's just two uh, SODIM slots, and this has a uh, max capacity of 16 gigabytes. So you'll need uh, two 8 gigabyte modules to uh, max that out if you needed to. Uh, but, you know, honestly, if you're building just a, a PSN's router or, or something similar, you probably don't really need that much RAM. Uh, you know, unless you're running uh, something that actually does, but in most cases, that's it, these systems often come with four gigabytes, and that's probably more than enough. And uh, something that I'm not really sure what they're for. There's two other standoffs here, and then there's these kind of uh, I don't know what you call them, um, but it looks like something could slide on those and maybe get screwed down, uh, held down with screws on these two standoffs. I don't know what that would be. Um, you know, maybe there was an option to install uh, something else there, another option. I'm not really sure, but it looks like it was designed for something. But uh, if anybody knows what that might be, you know, uh, please uh, tell me in the comments uh, section. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's that's it for uh, this box. And, and, you know, it's it's actually it's very easy to, to work with, like I said, other than me forgetting some screwdrivers to show you what's under here. Um, you really don't need any tools. And so let me try to put this back in here. Uh, okay, let's align the PCI slot. And then, okay, and then that clips in. And then let me put my quad port Ethernet card back in here. There we go. And then this just kind of comes down. Latches that. And the cover goes in there and latches in there. Now we gotta lock it. Don't forget to lock this. This rear panel just kind of slide it in, uh, slide these two prongs in first, and uh, it just kind of snaps right in. Okay, and yeah, that's it. Uh, very nice little box. Um, when I tested this thing out with uh, without the quad port NIC, and you know, with there's a flash SSD in there without the USB drive, so pretty much a, a more or less bare bones system other than RAM and the uh, M.2 SSD, this thing idled at 6.9 watts, which to me was incredible. I wasn't really expecting such a low number because the TDP on the processor here, which is a GX420CA, um, was, you know, listed as 25 watt TDP. And, and I thought, you know, um, with that, I, I wasn't expecting a very low, you know, at least not something like 6.9 watts. So that's actually pretty incredible. Uh, it's very, very energy efficient, very um, 
a quiet box as well. There is a fan, but like I said, because this thing is is uh, has so many ventilation holes, you can basically like see through it. Um, it doesn't really need a lot of airflow, it seems, and, and it's perfectly adequate with it, the very quiet, slow fan that it has. And so, yeah, even under load, I tested this thing under load um, using a Sysbench a CPU benchmark tool. And even then, it only went up to about 16 watts. Uh, so, and then the fan didn't really even spin up uh, to make any extra noise or anything like that. So even under load, this is going to be a fairly quiet box and uh, and still fairly en energy efficient. The quad port NIC here does add about four watts. And so, you know, if you're looking at the total wattage, um, this is probably going to be somewhere um, in the uh, kind of 11 to 14 watt range and still incredibly energy efficient for what you get. And considering these are uh, machines from, I think, 2013 or 2014, so they're a little bit older, but, you know, therefore they can be found uh, quite cheaply on eBay now and, uh, yeah, and make uh, a great little router machine. Uh, so anyway, uh, hopefully that uh, helps uh, anybody who's looking for more information. I, I know when, when I was looking for information on YouTube about these things, um, didn't come across much, so I thought I'd make a video and, and share that with you guys. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.